so guys good morning good morning everybody so i recently had something and that's the reason why i'm making this video i recently had that some fake agents now are now send and now giving people fake certificates so i heard that i saw the certificate and i was like what is this and at, a, at first i decided to ignore and be like well some people like fake things some people like cheap things so when they like cheap things they definitely get fake things but i now realize that some people must have actually paid a lot for that certificate and they are giving them a fake certificate at the end of the day so that's the reason why i'm actually making this video so i'm going to be showing this video i'm going to be showing you just the step to know if your certificate is real or it is fake so please watch the next video so just like I promised, I said I was going to show you the step by step and how you're going to check if the document or the certificate they sent to you is actually real. So what you're going to do, the first thing is, it's very simple, you can even do it on your phone, so you don't need to stress yourself. Number one, note the name they actually gave you, the name they said, this, the name that they said was approved with CAC. Note that name, it's very, very important. So the next thing is you just go to Chrome. From Chrome, you just go to the csc.gov.ng You search for it So when you finish loading, you click on search So what you have to do is just click on search here, search here The name that, it, that was used to register for you, the name they told you, the name on the certificate, use it For instance, the name on the certificate is LY Legal Practice, so I will search for LY legal practice now another question is was it registered as a business name or a company or a company as a company you have to pick any of it you click on this search now what you're going to do because so what you have to do is when you now get here you, you have to revise it again because sometimes it will not take you to where you're supposed to so you now click on business name immediately it just show see this is my own certificate. It was registered May 10, 2022. So this is just the way you are going to search for it. Note that the name that they registered for you, note the, the um, business name number or the housing number on that certificate and make sure you compare it with what is on this certificate. Like what I have here now, LY Legal, Legal Practice, the BN number is the same thing as the one on my certificate. So it's over, I registered myself, so I know I cannot cheat myself actually. But it's the same thing. Can you see? I'm still is active. Now, sometimes some of these people will just gonna pick somebody's BN number and we just put it and then they will just put your name. They will just do it anyhow. So please, it's very, very important that you make sure the BN number on the certificate and the name of the certificate is the same thing with the one you are going to be seeing on this portal. Please, it's very, very important. This is the way for you to know. So if you they send you that certificate, please go and check immediately. I'll be sure that somebody, I'm sure that they have not scammed you or collected your money for anything. Now, another thing is to your loan. Look at this certificate. How does the certificate look at it? Look at the difference. What's the meaning of this? Can we believe by how can we which way is come out in 22 to your loan? Look at it. It's so different and it's so I'm sure that if you look at this BN number now, this particular BN number now, you realize that it's another person's number and just you just took somebody's certificate and just use it like that. And even so another thing, how can you pay three thousand naira, three K for for a certificate, I don't understand this. Some people are so so funny. So I'm going to show you a, a, a normal certificate. Please look at the difference between this one and that one to be alone. They are so different. If this person should check this name now, if you check this drip drip app entertainment online now, you will see it there. You will see the BN. Just take note of BN three four five two eight eight three. You will see that this is the this is the one I did. This is the one I registered. Look at the address compared to that one. That one just says Tapele Data State. CAC will never collect that kind of um, address for you. It, it will query that kind of application. So I, I don't understand how people are so wicked. People are so funny that they can actually a accept something like this. I think they can pay two thousand three thousand naira for for business investment. Normal amount that they are paying to CAC is even more than ten thousand naira safe. Normal amount. So how can you how can you say you want to register a business name and you pay three percent three thousand naira? Eh? No, compare. Now I will search this gifs as entertainment now online, so you can see that you take note of, of this. You see that it is the same thing with this gifs as entertainment. I'm going to search it for you now, and you will see it using the same procedure I post. I said. So. 
So I'm going to be searching for drips. Drips at entertainment. Now it's going to be saying, let me put it on business name. Look at it now. I don't call it lay three four five two eight eight three. The same thing with what I have in this place. If you look at it, you see it's the same thing. Three four five two eight eight three. So please let's be very careful. This money is, is not is not easy to see and spending for industry doesn't make sense. Follow no road. Meet somebody that will do a proposition for you and not collect your money. Thank you.